calculation of empirical formulas based on information that is usually given as a result of a combustion analysis. So a compound is found to contain 5.93% hydrogen and 94.0% oxygen with a molar mass of 34.015 grams. What is its empirical and molecular formula? In this problem, uh, they give you three pieces of information. There are only two elements in the compound. So the third piece of information is necessary to find the molecular formula because sometimes you're given information to find the empirical formula, but if you're not given the molecular mass, you can't find the molecular formula. You need, you need the molecular mass to be able to find the molecular formula. Otherwise, you, you'll have to stop at the empirical formula. That's all you can glean from information that involves com um, the combustion of a substance so that you can obtain the percent um, elemental composition. So we start by finding the empirical formula. This is the steps, these are the steps you need to find the empirical formula. You begin by assuming that you have 100 grams of the sample. And if you have 100 grams of the sample, those percentages will give you the following proportions, 5.93 grams of hydrogen and 94.07 grams of oxygen. You then divide by the molar mass of the, of the elements. Hydrogen's molar mass is 1.00794 grams per mole. Uh, you might be tempted at, one, at this point to use the diatomic mass of hydrogen, but that's, that's not what you use. You use the monatomic mass of hydrogen. Same with oxygen. Molar mass of monatomic oxygen is 15.394 grams per mole. You divide those two numbers by that, and you get these two numbers. You then take the lower of the two numbers, and you divide both numbers by it to create a ratio. Uh, when you divide 5.8832 by 5.8796, you get very close to 1. That's why I put about 1. I ignored the, the 0 0.02 or whatever you get in the calculation. It's 1. It's a 1 to 1 ratio. And that is perfectly normal for an experiment that you do in the real world. You never get perfectly accurate results in real world experiment, uh, experiments. So you have to recognize the fact that uh, when, when your data says, for example, 0 0.99999, that's a pretty good indication that you have 1 as the ratio. So the empirical formula that we get from that is H1O1. When we calculate the molecular weight of H1O1, we get 17.00734. But we're told that the molecular weight is twice that much. So how do we find uh, the actual molecular weight? You take the molecular weight and you divide it by the empirical formula weight. It gives you a ratio. Then you use that ratio to multiply the empirical from, uh, from to the multiply the empirical formula by it to obtain the molecular formula. So two times H1O1 <coughs> gives you the formula H2O2. So our unknown compound is hydrogen peroxide. 